Wow, it's been a long time since I have said this. What's cooking, sapiens? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I have so much to say. I have to probably first of all start off by apologizing for not being consistent, for not uploading videos for the past two months. The last video that I uploaded was the vlog from the day I became a doctor, the vlog from my last exam, like the last exam of my entire freaking life. But after that, I just seemed to vanish. I was nowhere, nowhere to be seen and uh, honestly, there are multiple reasons. So, um, but like the reasons are one thing, but I, if, I, if, if I honestly had to look back at these past two months, I would say that generally making videos was not the priority in my life. And I have no shame in admitting that because you know, the thing, the thing with YouTube was that when I started out in 2021, I wanted to stay consistent and I was consistent for the first two years. I never skipped a single week without publishing a video. But now I realize that when you are in this YouTube surface, in this YouTube community, there is so much pressure on like how you have to keep on uploading videos and you have to get big. But with time I realized that this really does not really matter that much. I mean, I make videos to primarily have fun and if I'm not having fun, if this feels more like a burden, then there is basically no point in doing so. So I would say that like there are, there were other things that kept me busy. There were other priorities in my life, which I really wanted to pursue and wanted to time, like, take time out from all these other activities going on in my life and focus on those priorities that were going on. So without any further ado, let's get into what was happening in my life for the past two months. Number one thing, the biggest news, I guess, is that I graduated and then one and a half month after graduation, I got married. So on the 26th of July, I got married here in Oslo in Norway. And uh, man, I had such a blast. I had such a ball. There was so much happening. There were guests coming around, visiting us from all around the world. I had cousins from the US. I had my best friend visiting from Canada. Talha, if you're watching this, I love you, man. And then, you know, family from the UK, cousins from Denmark and fa other family members and all that stuff. So there was a lot to take care of. Not just the wedding planning, the decorations, the food, the clothes itself, but also the hospitality for all these guests. So there was a lot going on. And honestly, I wasn't even thinking about making videos. Uh, and to be honest, I didn't even want to do it. I didn't want to make videos because I always felt that, okay, maybe when I get married, I will, you know, document that process as well. I will document the entire wedding preparation season as well. But once I got into it, I did not want to do it. And that's because I realized that when you vlog, you can either enjoy the moment, you can either like really live in the moment or you can have your mind focused on other things like vlogging. So I personally find it really hard to enjoy both, like to, be, to live in the moment and vlog at the same time. So I deliberately made this decision that I was not going to vlog and I was instead trying to try, try, really try and live in this, in, this, in this moment. And that's what I did and I have honestly no regrets. So that was the first thing and then after that, after like, so I, we had a two day wedding. So the first one was on the 26th, 26th of July and the second one was on the 28th of July. And then soon after that, I went to Denmark to visit my grandfather who was not able to come to the wedding and attend the wedding. And then on the 8th of August, I traveled to Albania for the honeymoon with my wife. And honestly, we loved it over there. Uh, the, we, we rented a car and we were there for like around two weeks. And then we drove all around like the country. We started from Tirana, which is the capital, and then to Durez, and then we went to Vlor, and then we went to Sarande, and then uh, Kasamil, and then we went to Mo uh, like Yairokaster, um, and Berat. Like we basically visited most of the like Albanian touristic spots and whatever there was to see. Um, man, that was fun. That was honestly, I think Albania is so freaking underrated. If you're watching this video and you're planning your next vacation, honestly have Albania on your bucket list. Uh, the coastal areas, the Mediterranean views, stunning, absolutely stunning. So that is what happened right after getting married. And then after that, again, I came back on the 22nd of August 
and then three days later I had to leave Oslo permanently and I had to move to Bergen because if you have been watching my previous vlogs then you know that I got my residency part one which is basically Norway's FY1 or like the first part of your residency in Bergen so I had to move from Oslo to Bergen and Bergen is like the second largest city in, Os in Norway and um, so I basically started my residency part one or FY1 at the Haukeland uh, University Hospital on the 27th of August um, and so yeah, moving here was a task in itself you had to find a place to like uh, rent uh, and this is where basically I ended up with my wife of course uh, so like setting up the house the furniture the kitchen like all that stuff was happening at the same time while I was um, also doing my residency which I, which I still am by the way so um, that is the second thing that happened. So like, yeah, basically in one summer, my life just completely got turned around. I had to, I, I graduated, I became a doctor and then I got married. I moved to Bergen, like I left Oslo. So a lot has been going on for the past couple of months. So what am I up to currently? What's happening right now? And how did I even manage to take the time out for this video? Honestly, Moved to Bergen now and um, pretty stable these days, um, working as a doctor um, because the thing is our, our FY1 year or the first part of our residency is basically divided into three parts. So from September till the, the 3rd of January, I will be working, I'm, I am working in psychiatry, in acute psychiatry. Uh, and then after that, I will be working four months in surgery and then four months in internal medicine. Uh, and that's our that's our hospital um, uh, year and then after that we have to spend six months as a gp in some district district or uh, some uh, like town um, and practice family medicine basically uh, we'll talk about that one once we get to it but right now i'm working in psychiatry um, in, i'm working in the psychosis department and then i also work at the ed in the emergency department uh, like once or twice a week so that's what's happening right now and uh, and yeah of course all this is paid um, and i'll get into the details of how much i earn as a fresh doctor in norway in a later video but for now i just wanted to come back to make, make a comeback on youtube and update you guys if you are interested even if you're not interested well i hope you watch the video um, and comment down below like what you guys want me to answer or make videos about because um, yeah, I've been honestly been happy, even though I haven't been making videos, but I still have been happy. <laughs> so, uh, and I will still continue, continue to like churn out videos, churn out videos, but I'm not really sure how often that would be. Like, I, I know that right now YouTube is not the topmost priority in my life and I can't promise you that I, that I will be posting videos every single week, but I will try and post as much as possible because I still have other projects going on in my head. I want to start another YouTube channel in Urdu, which is my mother tongue. And uh, if you are Pakistani or if you're Indian and you understand or speak Urdu or Hindi, then you might want to follow that channel. Um, and if you do want to know more about that channel, then just comment down below and I'll send you guys a link or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.